Welcome back everybody to Life with EDC. My name is Carlos. I hope you all had a great Halloween. We had a lot of, we had a lot of, uh, a lot of candies uh, left over from last night. We did a lot of trick or treating last night. It was fun. And uh, this is one of the, the perks of uh, when you take the kid out to trick or treat, you get a little sneakers uh, candy for the efforts. So I'll take care of that right quick. Mm. Mm. I like I like sneakers, my favorite. All right, guys, today's video is about the backpacks. I got two backpacks in. Uh, I've been using one for the past two weeks, and this was, uh, I was gonna build my own uh, bug out bag, get home bag, um, and the, I was using one of the backpacks, and I, and we had a, a uh, <clears throat> camping trip this weekend, and I took one of them with me and see how, how it would do out there in the wilderness, trekking through brush and all kinds of stuff. And the other one I haven't used yet, the bigger one. I have a, a 30 liter backpack and I have a 40 liter. Actually a 40 plus 10 liter uh, backpack. I like the, the 30 liter, it's small, compact, and uh, it goes with an accessory that I bought for it. I was looking to, to I guess like it's the, just the color coordination deal. And then the other ones are darker green. Uh, two different style backpacks, but I'm looking forward to building this uh, get home bug out, get home bag, bug out bag to my liking. So, okay, let's take a look at the backpacks and uh, hang in there. All right, this is the backpack that I ordered first and got here last. And this is the Singhai Luso. It is a 30 liter waterproof tactical backpack. Uh, it's also used for as, a, as an assault bag, assault bag, like a three-day assault bag. It's a hiking backpack, outdoor camping and trekking. Also used as a rucksack as well for those uh, rucksack people that go rucking. Uh, it is lightweight. It's not. It's not heavy at all. I thought it was gonna be kind of, kind of, kind of at least at least like about a pound and a half, maybe two. But no, it's it's pretty light. It's under a, in, under a pound, uh, according to my wife's uh, the boss's. Uh, scale so this one is a king it came in a color khaki one of the accessories that i bought early on was in a, a khaki color and i wanted to match it with the with this bag uh this one comes in uh the size as far as the size it's a uh, nine and a half inches wide it goes to seven almost eight inches fully loaded as far as thickness and it's 16 uh almost 17 inches tall this is made out of 600 the material it has the little molly webbing here uh, different areas on the side and this side as well i think it has some uh small webbing here also on the on the on the straps on the shoulder straps uh it has six compartments i took this one to the to the camping trip i wanted to check it out as far as weight how how it worked and everything how i could how many things i could fit in it and how much to total weight it would be. But the only thing, there was something that happened with, uh, while carrying this that I didn't like, and uh, we'll get to that at the end of the uh, of the second, sec when I show the show off the second uh, backpack. So we'll show you the second backpack right now. Hold on. All right, the next backpack is this backpack. This is the Semsty uh, hiking backpack. This is the 40 liter plus 10 liter expandable travel backpack. It's a uh, flight approved. It's used for camping and for traveling. This one is in the darker green. Dimensions on this backpack is 14 inches wide. And when fully packed, it's like eight inches uh, thick. And it's, it's 21 and a half inches tall. Uh, the material is an abras abrasion proof fabric, uh, tear resistant polyester. Uh, it is a 40 plus 10 liter. So there's a, an extra 10 liters that you can open up the backpack is printed with a little reflective uh, lettering here. It has a thicker padded uh, back with ergonomic uh, breathable design. Uh, it also has a chest buckle. It has like a little whistle. So this is actually a little whistle here. So let me just try it right quick. Yeah, it's pretty loud. I think probably could get somebody's attention with that, but I thought that was pretty cool. So, uh, pretty cool design, putting a little whistle on the, on the chest buckle there. It does have uh, pockets for water bottles on the side 
and uh, for trekking poles, if uh, if I, if I'll be hauling maybe trekking poles also has a little strap for trekking poles, so it has a little bit more features other than you know it doesn't have the 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 Molly webbing like the the the, the Singhai, but you know it is bigger, so that extra attachment pouch that I have for the Sing, it, it'll fit inside this perfectly. It's pretty cool. I can't wait to load up one of the backpacks with these items and make it a bug out bag a get home bag i'm really looking forward to it so let's take, take out the first bag and uh, there was some issues with the first bag and i'm gonna you know address those issues right now so let's check out the first bag all right this is the backpack i had issues with great backpack everything the size weight and everything was was spot on the only thing that really caught my attention and if i was to be grading this on a five star system this would be getting a two and then this side, it, this one broke. So I just put a knot on there. I just wanted to carry it, make sure I carried it the rest of the weekend and I didn't want it to lose it. And this loop broke. Uh, maybe I was just too rough on it. I don't know, but everything else was, was staying on. Maybe it had a crack on it. I don't know, but um, this was the only issue. This right here, everything else, everything that I was carrying and everything they had in here, weight wise, uh, how it fell on my shoulders, it was great but that, this is the, it was the only thing I, I had to modify a little bit and make it work but uh i did i did buy a new loop so i'm gonna get that back get in maybe thursday and put it on and then uh, test that out again you know that's the only thing that was the only issue that i had it wasn't heavy at all again you know i'm reiterating all this but uh, it is a, a good backpack accessory that goes not, that's gonna be on the outside on the molly system this pouch right here it was this guy you know it's kind of the same color but this is gonna has a the molly system also it has the straps and this is gonna go on the outside if needed if there's not enough uh room and the inside it will be carried be carried on the outside but then again this one on the green backpack it fit perfectly inside and everything else that i just tried to put in just to check it out and you know size up the backpack with all the stuff that i think that i would i would need in an emergency to get home or a bug out bag, you know, it, it did fit in there. You know, I do have an item in here that I'll be using that could be used in a bug out situation. I like it, like it a lot in conjunction with the the sing the sing high. Let me open up all these compartments in this in the sing high here quick. It has a little strap here that disconnects. It has a uh, one up front on the bottom. It's uh, pretty pretty deep. It goes up to my maybe a, uh, half of my forearm. And it has other little pouches made for pins or I don't know what else, a knife. Um, then it has a top one, but this little pouch is a, is a small pouch, you know, small compartment. And the next uh, compartment right behind that, on this one, again, has another pouch. Uh, it has a, has a pouch in the back, a small one, and then two separate ones here. Uh, I don't, I didn't have nothing in there yet, but I did have my, my iPad in here. I was hauling my iPad, it was kind of heavy. I want to see how much weight I could I could handle, and but it does have enough room for other things. If I open up these buckles here, these straps, you know, it the, the actually the, the backpack actually expands even more, so it it'll, it'll hold more more stuff in here. So I, I'm glad I'm very happy for that. And then the next one is the, the clamshell. I really like the clamshell because you could just open up the whole backpack and and fit in wherever you need, and then you know zip it back up. And, and the, the, the clamshell, it has a zipper compartment here. Uh, also on this compartment for this weekend, uh, I had the IFAC kit, the full IFAC kit that I have, I had it in here. And then they had another pocket down here, some webbing. And I also had another compartment in the back. And it's, it's kind of, it's deep. It's almost all, all to, my, to, to my elbow, deep right there. It's pretty, pretty large. The Sing uh, Tactical Backpack, the 30 liter. This is it right here. So let's take a look at the at the 40 plus 10 liter. All right, this is a same state. This one, uh, I just the only thing I did do with this backpack is we opened up to see the plus 10 liters. So let's do that right quick. It had a zipper that zips all the way across, comes out this way, and it ex it expands right here. So that's your that's your 10 liters. So your 10 liters goes from the inside from the main compartment back here all the way to the bottom right here right here this is my hand right here so that's your 10 liter your 10 more liters that you get for your for your price it also has another compartment right here 
and then it has another compartment right here a small one it goes probably a little past my my uh my wrist pretty good i can expand my hand and it's it's pretty pretty large uh then right behind that there's another compartment <clears throat> right here and uh, this goes probably halfway to my forearm and again if you expand my hand you know it's, it's a good amount of of uh, of space he also has these uh straps right here that comp gets everything nice and compact nice and tight and it has maybe like a half clamshell i guess you want to say it opens up half ways and it has another compartment here it has a little zipper pocket here uh, and then you have your main compartment all the way to the bottom that goes into your 10 liter so if you fold up your 10 liter away you'll just have a, a space maybe up to my my bicep here but if you go all the way it goes out to my shoulder right here i thought man this is pretty deep and this bag will carry everything that i have i mean and and extra you know I, i'm not accounting for any food emergency food or anything i'm just i'm just the survival gear just the gear nothing nothing as far as food or anything because i'm still uh, looking into the food thing but this is a real really big backpack i like it a lot it feels good the straps i was carrying it uh, carrying it i put a i think i put the everyday carry sling bag i put it in here and i was walking around the yard to see how the the straps felt and they're pretty nice nice and padded they felt really good and uh the backpack is real comfortable uh i didn't get it use it with the plus 10 but you know I'll, I'll check it out later but this is it i thought it's not does it have too much i guess compartments like the other one like the sing high but uh this compartment has a lot of space so i could probably fit a lot of things i know i have tarps that i'm playing with i have uh cooking kits that i'm playing with i have uh um uh, some fl a flashlight or two that i'm playing with i got a multi-tool that i'm playing with a, a big poncho that i've been playing with and i mean all that stuff is gonna fit in here you know that i'll be showing you that those items probably in the next video and then i'll put it i will decide on which backpack to use and then uh, I'll present it to, uh, I'll put it up on YouTube and show you all my bug out bag slash get home bag. So yeah, this is the, the these, are, these are the two backpacks that I that I got for that purpose. And uh, I'm looking forward to this to the next video to to which one I'm gonna decide on which to use. And you can tell the difference right here, 30, and then the 40, and then the plus 10. I mean, you can see the difference right here. If I, if I build this one for me, I'll build this one for my wife. And she'll have it in her backpack. And this one will ride in my, in my truck. This one will ride in her truck. And we'll have something, something for an event just in case. And uh, we'll use them. On, we, we plan on going on to other camping trips. And we'll take our, our uh, bug out bags, our get home bags, and use our items, practice them, and uh, put them to use. Make sure we know what, what we're doing and what we have in our backpacks. Uh, for an event any event so yeah thank you guys for watching the video guys thank you i'm getting close again you know i passed 400 i think a couple weeks ago and i need to get to 500 so uh, tell your friends about it you know tell them to subscribe to watch your videos uh very informative videos guys you know i, I don't want to give you basic stuff you know i'm going above and beyond uh edc i, I know this is called like prepping and you know it's it's uh, it's good for the channel because a lot of people also prep along with edc they carry everyday carry and uh, hopefully i can get some more people online and uh on the on as a subscribers uh, on the channel and uh make that channel grow so uh, thank you for subscribing guys thank you for watching also guys for my subscribers now and where's gonna come up and subscribe also as well you know more more stuff is coming up so uh, hang in there guys and uh thank you for watching guys and we'll see you next time